えー<笑>
that's us with it obviously um yeah <clears throat> and we did, did a lot of talking about the, the whole thing before we saw it personally i gotta say seeing it in person it did look a lot better when we saw it yes. uh, than a lot of the photos from the mm -hmm. first day mm -hmm. uh, i don't know if they had moved it and straightened it up maybe they watched our live and went oh shit it does look like shit and i fixed it and like steamed it or whatever they had to do because you know the check yards boys are here they're gonna criticize yes. this thing well justifiably critique it yes no it's certainly surreal to have something be announced and then be do live with you and then know we're gonna see it the next day you know yeah. uh and then be to walk you know like i was wondering you know are those lines are those red lines on the back as well is it symmetrical back on the front and there isn't um small thing but i was curious um mm -hmm. i'm just gonna just fix the thing with uh oh there you go um, but no, it, it's definitely better in person, um, which implies we're better in on on film. I just yeah, think I... the the lighting of the of the initial images, which is obviously everyone took in the same location with the same thing, got the this, the specularity value of the 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 fabrics made it very plasticky or fake or whatever. But in person, it looks very normal. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I think a lot of I think it'll look really good on screen too because of the way they light things. So. Not like, too worried about that. And I don't necessarily. This isn't necessarily Picard's version in a sense of they, you know, they also, they make prototype versions. This might be a prototype version uh, that fits the mannequin, you know, you know what I mean, the, rather than a form-fitting Picard one, because that'd be carefully done to his size. But what if the mannequin was too big or too small for that? So might have just picked like a, you know what I mean? So it's kind of hard yeah. to to see who's going to fit into it exactly when it's, you know, I mean, the, I think the the um, the cuffs are still a bit odd. But like my mum pointed out after our other live that there is precedent for it. Precedent mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. This looks more like a bath robey sort of uh, just long weird. It looks less functional, more um hoity toity fancy, you know. Well, a lot of the admirals' uniforms had that kind of on the sleeves, so yeah, we've avoided that for but... two eras. Um, I know. I know. But why is my biggest question is why is Isaac wearing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, special guest star Isaac, everyone. Yeah, he just didn't know that he wasn't awake, so his eyes aren't on. But it's, it's clearly Isaac. Just saying. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> um, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing it for sure on screen. Um, I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm upset, but somebody had mentioned it in the comments that they're they're upset that uh, he became Admiral Picard because he didn't listen to Kirk. Like, why? Why would you mm -hmm. not listen to Kirk? You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. got to do that thing. Yeah. And uh, Dante Three asks a good question. Would you realize this was for an admiral if no one told you? Just by the rank, yes. The rank pips are the same Admiral ones. But other than that, no, absolutely not. I mean, obviously, it being a brand new era, it's kind of hard to, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, the thing is, uh, the Admiral's uniforms always had the gold. They added an extra gold braid or a stripe. Mm -hmm. Now, so is this, this the standard <laughs> uniform of this? Does it forego that gold stripe down the middle? Is it just the colors? Um, interesting. I don't know. But... Yeah, I suppose. I like, oh, sorry. I was gonna say I like the I like the gold. It's a nice accent for it, the rank pips and the communicator. So it's really just though the extra red lines and the the negative space that makes it all feel weird and unbalanced. Um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, like with any uniform, like you wouldn't know what rank the person is until you get closer anyway. You know. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah, 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 uh, I, I don't know guys. Well, like, what do you think of the uniform? Um, I, I don't know if you watched our other live that we did on it, but we compared it to all the other admiral's uniforms and really we went kind of in depth, mm -hmm. but we hadn't seen it in person. So now that I have seen it in person, I do feel a little bit better about it. Mm -hmm. Um, it did look a lot better in my opinion. But um, I'm interested in your thoughts. So if you guys want to super chat or whatever to, you know, 
let us know. That'd be awesome. Um, and have you had time to mull it over and like it more? You know, I think we definitely say it's one of the better Admiral's uniforms, but there are better, better. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's definitely not the worst Admiral's uniform. That's one hundred percent for sure. Oh. But I, I do like it. I do like it. Well, it makes you wonder if. You know, the Admiral's uniform for a while has been roughly the same as the conventional uniform. Does this mean that we're going to see... Is this is this an in-between step between the Picard era and the, the Nemesis ones? Or is this just the Admiral's variant of that uniform or the other sort of Admiral without this uniform? Because we were to have two uniforms in between us, or they want to sell more uniform, you know, styles, which I'm not, you know, whatever. I mean, how many uniforms changed in... The TOS era to Ratha Khan, and then not for you know ninety years, and then changed. Well, iterated, not necessarily changed, but. Hmm. <laughs> well, um, Tenzingari makes a good point. Uh, I hope the secondary stripes are only for admirals' uniforms. I think he means the, the red, and going down the the front too. If those were just the admirals, the, the regular uniforms didn't have that extra added part. I mean. I, I think the angle that they go down is a little bit drastic compared to where we're used to kind of more straight across. But I don't know. It would be kind of neat if that was just the Admiral's version that had the extra red striping on there. But but then you'd have to lose the gold as well because that's the definitive Admiral's variant. So you'd lose. The... I, I know. I know. Um, kind of a shame, but weird. But Stuart, we can go back to it in a little bit. Let's talk about our general trip. Sure, sure. I've got some images of from my phone anyway of uh, some sort of things that we did. Tell me what you mm -hmm. think about the things that we did. I was in the space. Yay. I got to see the ships in person. Did you say better in person? <laughs> yes. Yes, everything does look better in person. Because there's actually detail on those ships. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't just render blobs, would I? But I guess they are blobs to you. I mean, they look like the ships. They don't look like blobs, but I didn't realize they were so detailed. Yes. Um, Tom Zeros, 48, though, throws in $10 Canadian. Thank you hey, much. thank you. Uh, difference between Picard and Kirk. Picard might do what is required instead of always following his gut as a pragmatic, mm. at least more, more than Kirk. He might accept a promotion to help situation mm. yep yep i can see that yeah well said well said actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's clever i wonder what happened to picard's fish he got upgraded to uh admiral fish so he got a bigger bigger pond got his own office mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is now his assistant or yes. or he got his own office to deal with these uh, not citations the what are they called the cetaceans, you know, the, the, oh, the whales. Oh, the, the cetacean institute. Yeah, yeah he's now an official liaison with them. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he's, the, he's their messenger or something. Yep. Yeah. That's what happened. Oh, Martin Devon says he got upgraded to a pike. Ah-ha-ha. Ah-ha-ha. Ah-ha. Ah-ha. <laughs> nice. That's pretty good. All right, so there we are with the ambassador and his star... Stargate uniform. Mm -hmm. Very impressive uniform. Is that actually a military uniform or is it a costume? Well, it's 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 more military than it could be, but lots of costume elements as well, if that makes sense. Like, I think half, I think, if I remember correctly, Dad did get it from a US person who could get them, like, on a base as secondary, like, extras or, like, get them from a source. So they are, they're real Air Force pieces. And then he assembled it with um, Stargate, uh, some actual pieces from the show of the rank pips and the, the badges. So he might, that's why he kind of got it, because he had like the accessories. He was like, well, now I need to get the actual uniform piece and then pull it together and you get kind of a mishmash. But it looks the part. Yeah, absolutely it does. Looks uh, good. And certainly a fun live all this together, vamping in the same room without lag. It does make a difference. Yes, yes, it does. Sorry, I was wait <laughs> waiting for the lag there. Um, what? Yeah. What lag? 
delay because I was waiting for to hear what you said. I just heard it now. So. <clears throat> and Dan23 says, there's a lady in animal's uniform, but you can't see much in the trailer. Already mentioned it, Dan. Yes. Very explicitly. A few times, actually. Just not in the stream. Just once in the stream. But anyway. Uh, there's a fun little behind the scenes you can see. Like, were you surprised how I lit my room? Because it's kind of higgledy-piggledy, but also clever, I think, with how it all bounce light. Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, you always talk about turning on this lamp and that lamp, and mm -hmm. but yeah, it was rather interesting to see. <coughs> so, yeah, it was, it was it was neat. It was behind the magic. I got pictures of like what you like your wall. It's like, hey, there's nothing behind there. I'd have pictures up there or something. Well, but then I'd be out. like, hey, Samuel. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm moving out in you know two months, so yeah. who the hell knows where I'm gonna be. Uh, well, Jeff Jacobs puts in a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, Yay, fifty four likes again at one hundred. Be there soon. Hashtag make Jeff pay. There you go. There you go. He'll be here soon, but he's still doing his job. Yes. Yeah, Jeff. I went to Camden. Don't talk about your thoughts on Camden, which is one of the most famous sort of random area streets in uh, London. It's very nice. A lot of old buildings and uh, walkways and stuff, and that. An alley for Italian food. Mm -hmm. That picture, um, which we had some good food in. I mean, it wasn't anything super great. Um, the lasagna was good, but it wasn't out of this world or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and what did you have again? You had uh... bland cheese. Well, very, well, very good pasta, but I mean bland pasta with cheese because every every single sauce they had a black pepper in, so every single sauce was poisonous. So I had non black pepper. Oh, sauce. Not, not, not poisonous, just an irritant for you. So. Yes. Yeah. Matthew Lally puts in two pounds fifty. Thank you. It was great to say hello to you guys at destination. Uh, nice Thank meeting you. you too, Matthew. Not sure who you <laughs> met. A lot of people. Met a lot of people. So. But all with their own little fun moment. We hope we uh, hope we we lived up to expectations. <sighs> yes. Because that's all we can be is just us, you know. Yes, Dan Trey Three, we we know. Yes, thank you. We've analyzed the trailer. Looking right now, it's not anywhere similar to the Picard one. So thank you. Yes. Look out, Tower Radio puts in one pound. Thank you very much. Mhm. Thank you, thank you. And I did, because we've got we each got clips, but I have a clip you took that I've not seen yet. Go into Camden Lock. All right. mm -hmm. I guess I have some orange juice. And you've got very saturated colours though, which I kind of like. Yes. Mm. Oh yeah, the fresh squeezed orange juice, please. Very, that's, uh, good, that's good stuff. Very grey. All, all times very grey days. <laughs> well, it's, it's England. That's all you have is grey well, days. Uh, special guest, I'll just find lady. And it's interesting to see how the, the cameras are different as well. 103 people watching. Um, but we need to get the likes up, guys. Everybody hit like. Yes. I think when we looked about... Well, we looked at... We skimmed, like, three quarters of Camden. And it looked like 1%. <laughs> yeah. Well, we looked didn't like, have a lot of time. No. It looked like one line of food. And then <clears throat> your hats. I'm sure there'll be a full featurette on the hats. In a bit, uh, sort of video as well. I'm not sure what's not sure what it's gonna be. <clears throat> uh, Bernard speech. Francis, though, puts in five dollars. Hey, okay. you have a pepper allergy too. I thought I was the only one, too much, and I could die even. It's oh. so, it is so rare. My doctor didn't believe it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yes, yeah, black pepper is not, it's. It's both in everything and not in everything, if that makes sense. Uh, no. I've said shorter than expected, Kieran. I'm sure they mean you, because I'm pretty tall. Who said what? Uh, Kieran Allen said, I have to say, you're shorter than expected. Oh, okay. Robert Hayes says, never saw you. Thinks you're hiding. 
Mm, yes. Stuart, you didn't really walk around much, did you? I walked around a lot. <laughs> you almost killed your feet. Yes. We got another video. I'm not sure what this one's going to be. <clears throat> Wrong camera, Stuart. Oops. Hi. Well, it looks better. It looks very crisp. I, was, I wasn't ready for. Hi. You're in 4K. How are you, how you doing? I'm in 4K. I can literally see all of your paws. That's you, terrifying. You look great. That's that's really terrifying. Please don't. Da, do that. Da, 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 da. I'm in 4K. <laughs> it was in 4K because that's the native resolution, so I can do a very sexy close up just for all of you and i can do 4k too on mine but it <coughs> doesn't translate well to my editing software for some reason it's a real pain in the ass so i just don't even bother look at, that, anyway. look at that face though i know it's the face that only trek yardians could love <laughs> yeah it's true god it's kind of cool dramatic mm -hmm. dramatic uh god, if i just see <laughs> these pictures i always want to Improve them post. So saturation's a big thing. I'm just. Nope, too much. Uh, they went to Sherlock Holmes. We'll talk about that for a bit because that was a whole thing for you. Ooh, the Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. <coughs> I wanted to go to the Sherlock Or maybe younger. I don't even know. And uh, I'm glad I waited actually because it used to just be like uh, the downstairs part with yeah. like the, the replica of the sitting room at the back uh but now they've bought the building and since like what 1990 uh i can't remember now <clears throat> yeah anyway anyway Later they now, redid but, it yeah they redid it so it's all three floors uh, exactly like it, it actually it's almost an exact duplicate of what you see in the jeremy brett granada series um i, I mean it's amazing <laughs> Um, so you got Sherlock Holmes sitting room and his bedroom on the, that, uh, second floor there on the third floor is Watson's bedroom and sitting room. And then the third floor is like a wax museum of all the favorite cases and all this, um, not all the favorite cases, but some of the favorite cases, even this wax figure of Moriarty. And on the very last floor at the very top is the washroom, which you never see or mm. the water closet with some storage and stuff. It's actually really cool. It's an, uh, exactly how I imagined it would be. So it was amazing. So, and of course, they said you couldn't take video or whatever in there. <coughs> and well, of course, I followed the rules and didn't. Yes, we'll, we'll see what happens in your edit of the trip. Mm. Who mm. knows? It was definitely a very small space. I mean, they're gone. I get, as I thought at the time, it's a fictional character in a fictional building in rooms that could be designed any way you want to at the time. So, like... When you walk in, it's like this isn't a space. This is, a, you know, this is a set almost, but it's still using a real era appropriate building. So I, I thought it was small, but sort of what do you, what do you not expect? It just it just implies that they were neat, I guess. Like they had a certain limited space. Does it feel small to me? Feel big to you? Feel about right? Felt about right. Um, mm. The only thing that wasn't included was downstairs, which would have been Mrs. Hudson's kitchen and like her mm. quarters. So she was their housekeeper. She made all the food and stuff downstairs and brought up to them. But that was where the the gift shop was. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I liked how they, they gave the Watson room like nothing in it. It was just like so tidy. And, you know, yeah. his office was like, yes, he thinks in that room was the idea, which I quite liked. It was like a, it was like a writing desk and a, a fireplace and then just some mementos from cases, uh, from some of the cases in like glass cases, cases and cases. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, it was actually very, very cool. And, uh, and Curtis Simpkin says, looks like your home there, Captain. <laughs> yeah, I would love to just live there, to be honest. Uh, Martin Devon, though, puts in two pounds and said, who's your favorite homes? Go, Brett. Well, you just answered it. Jeremy Brett for the win. Anybody that knows me knows that. So, <clears throat> yeah, it was a dream come true, and I'm glad I was good to, got to experience it with Samuel, even though I kind of wandered off and did was looking at things, and you were uh, chatting it up with the with the people that worked there. So, well, I was like, I mean, I don't know too much about them. So they're, they're being paid. To, I I was like challenging the people that work these places, like how much do you actually know, sort of thing. Uh, like they gave us a whole talk and it's like oh how long are we going to oh it's over <laughs> was the sort of talk it was like it's informative until it isn't and then it's like and that is it you've now finished your tour 
go away. And it's like, but you only talk about one room. I was expecting like, each room and a bit of information. Um, but it's fine. I mean, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, well, I mean, it's two rooms, but uh, mm-hmm. I like asking information off the thing. There's every, I remember they, they were proud that it said that all of the accessories were all of the period. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of accessories. That's quite impressive. Yes, they said everything was of the era and not to touch anything and be very careful. And no flash photography. Everything was dimly lit. It's like, you bastards. <laughs> but uh, that was really cool. It was a nice touch to have all Victorian era stuff in there. Um, mm-hmm. And then they had a... He wasn't there when we first got there, but when we left, they had an English Bobby out mm. front. And the doorway is exactly like it's supposed to be with the T21 on the top. It's just... It's... Mwah, awesome. The mm-hmm. thing that kind of annoyed me, though, was the no video... And then even in the uh, the gift shop, no video, no pictures. It's like, you bastards. But whatever. They just don't want people stealing their gift ideas or whatever, I guess. So I don't know. I always find that odd in these sorts of, like with the Picard, um, the exhibition of the original props and costumes. It's like, yes, if you allow people to take pictures, it, you don't need to go there as much. But there's a big difference between going there and going there. Yes, I can see a picture. But it's just like any other thing. You're physically walking the space, and it's like, oh, I'm here, and I can, you know, I can do a manual zoom into items and look at them. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I guess uh, if if you say no photos, it's less like they were saying that flashes might damage stuff. Obviously, if you say no photos overall, or no, uh, no, they do, they do, they do photos. They said you can take as many photos as you want. Yeah, just no video. With your camera, just no flash photography. Mm. That's the um, thing I meant. Yeah. yeah. Michael Elliott puts in $2, European Captain Foley, engage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Robert Hayes says, did they include Basil's home? Uh, oh, the little mouse from Great Mouse Detective. I didn't look, but probably not. Mm. At first I was like, are you talking about Basil Rathbone? Because you're an idiot. No. But no, you mean Basil from Basil of Baker Street. I got you. It's fine. Great Mouse Detective. It took me a second. Yes. Got another video. I don't know what we're saying it, but I've got it. Ooh, ooh. Funny if it hit your phone. <laughs> I I was thinking that because it is. It does feel like it's very close. Yeah. I was nervous. I'll be honest. I was nervous. I mean that that face looks nervous, doesn't it? Uh, yes. Yes. I've got do like a bit of cheeky video. <laughs> um. Yeah, the underground was interesting. Um, a little bit warmer than I anticipated in a lot of spots, but you said yeah. it's even worse in the summer. Yeah. Uh, I love how they have fans set up everywhere to kind of get some air movement through there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love when the trains come through. You can feel the the, the, the rush of air. But mm-hmm. uh, And then you go up yeah. the stairs in some places. We've heard it once, and you just have this, this <clears throat> big gush of, because all the, all the air pressures are slightly different. Yeah, yeah. Which are like, now, okay, this is a fun, This is a. am going to try and do a double video edit. Um because you took a video and I took a video of you taking a video and I talked and you didn't know what I was saying and now I want to see if I can edit together what we were each saying. I hope... Oh, no, I need to find, I need to find your one. I want to have real trouble doing my captain's log if you want me to sync all this shit up. It's I'm going to see what stuff. I can do. It's the fun I don't stuff. Know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's probably that one. Or is that some bad sense of language? Oh. Well, I'll show you actually my version first. Okay. And the other one. <laughs> and Dan23 says, Do you have subway trains in Canada? Uh, yes, we're not uncivilized. Thank you very much. 
London doesn't have any because it's not big enough, even though it really is big <laughs> enough now, and we should have them because our transit system sucks. Our buses are really bad. And they're thinking of maybe doing one, but it'll be a huge undertaking to just start a subway system from nothing. So, um, But Toronto has a very extensive subway system, much like New York or London. So uh, there you go. But yes, just because we're in Canada doesn't mean we live in igloos. Okay, now I'm going to do live syncing. You walk by a guy in a suit, I'm going to try and sync up based on that. Okay. Uh. I'll need to return. See if I can sync up properly. Do a turn. Probably there. It's not a turn, it's a flourish. I'm being fancy. You... I was dancing, I was so happy. See if this works then. I um, mean, this is my stop recording and let you, uh, let you. Uh, I recorded the um, dude that was playing music. Okay, let's see what let's see what the conversation actually is. Yeah, so now we get off this other station, onto the main platform, double station. Just take, just, fun, just go. I'll follow you. Don't want to explain it to me because it makes no sense. This is just pretty complicated and confusing. Look at this. He's like videotaping me. Videotaping. Look at this. It's going to be an interesting captain's log for sure. Just help me. Like, I hope he does England. Yeah. Sounds dirty. Captain Foley. So I edit in the other clip. So many guys are enjoying this. I haven't even looked at editing the captain's log yet. I just have not had the time or desire. No, once you live it, you have a few seconds of break at least. So it might not be over. Maybe next Friday. I don't know. Let's see if this combines. We'll try to get it out on Friday, but correctly. no promises. Don't know. <laughs> That's funny. And I've uh, I also recorded some other clips. At the uh, while in, in London, that will be shown. It kind of got a, a dual sort of. Video Stuart's version than my version. <laughs> Trek yards, travel yards. Yes, it's like a travel log. Yes. Editing, editing live stream. <laughs> yes. Train yards. There you go. <laughs> well, un un under yard yards. Yes. So anyway, that's a bit of Camden, bit of Camden fun. Then I was pleased. Really that. Okay. Then I was pleased to see uh, Tim. Tim, one of our awesome graphic helpers, and he was at Stow, the Stowe panel. He flew in from uh, not the Englands to do it, and he, uh, he had the Horizon loaded right up, so I'd walk in and see him and take a picture of the Horizon MSD. So pretty. And what is the Horizon, Samuel? Because some people out there might not know. It's my original ship design that I designed with Rick Sternbach, uh, start of last year. Uh -huh. uh, still not fully finished, the... Uh, <laughs> The uh, design has a 3D modeling, but uh, yeah, very, very cool experience I got to have and a uh, bit of Trek legacy that I'll be able to move on and say, yeah, yeah I did this and, ooh, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Tim's a good guy. It was, it was like, he's always been really nice, uh, but to meet him in person, totally different 
um, vibe than I expected, <coughs> but very, very friendly, friendly guy. And uh, he loves us, and we love him. Ah, Tim. Yeah, I look forward to doing more stuff with him in the coming year. It's going to be good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we also got a chance to meet <coughs> Ryan, a.k.a. one of the Discovery designers. Denning. Ryan Denning. Denning, yeah. Denning? Is it Denning? I think it's Denning. I think it's Denning, yeah. too. Uh, yeah, this is, our, this is my picture with him at the bar before he left. Yeah, he you know, looks like such an average, average guy, but no, he designed so many of the things from season two. We've got an interview with him, interview with him, which is awesome. Got yes. Seeing that uh, soon-ish after we get a few more ships on Saturdays, because obviously you guys want ships more, so he's got to balance that. But it was good to have some quality one-on-one time with with the discovery designer that isn't mm. So it was quite surreal, and asking him some direct questions and have direct conversations. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Michael Elliott, though, throws in $5. Thank you. Hope other viewers are drinking or smoking. This Trek Yards is great. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you. I've been very low energy, this Trek Yards. It's live. I'm a, I apologize. But, uh, okay. As long as we make like 30, 40 bucks, at least we can say, hey, we got food money. Yakin and slacking, says DGR Blue. No. We just... you know, last night we were. T- what? We were a little bit of that. Drink Yakin. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, they were so impressed you kept your hands still or wasn't hurting after a long time of doing stuff it was quite yeah it was quite comfortable with the way I had it positioned so. underestimated the captain as you always do he knew what he was doing he always does hey Dan23 says Halloween is tomorrow in the UK well guess what coincidentally it's tomorrow <laughs> in Canada and the US as well <coughs> wow what are the chances it's the 31st <laughs> I'm not doing anything for this for Halloween day, but I am doing it on Saturday. I'm wearing a, a, a man's variant of a... I'm going out with a, a friend and another friend that's actually coming in from London, and she's wearing a dress as uniform or costume, and I bought all of the same pieces, just male version, and then I'm going to draw on my jeans and make it a thing, so we'll see. Should be a good pair. I know what Ben's going to wear, because a late edition. <laughs> <clears throat> and here's yes. we did have an official Trekkers meetup although as I warned you like in FedCon people aren't necessarily going to see the video or be at the right time or see it on time so it's kind of like let's go to the place with the most people then walk around is the best way of saying we're doing a meetup because it's like people will be there people won't necessarily go there just for it because they won't necessarily see it you know um, what, what do you think of that Saturday night sort of social gathering bit well, it's a Hilton mm-hmm. um, it was very uh, a little bit different than I expected, but very good nonetheless. Like we did, uh, we had to wander around the bar and we met up with quite a few people as we did so, and then kind of got when we got to the lobby area, ran into quite a few more people. Um, I did like seeing Dominic Keating from Enterprise though, just lounging in the chair with a lady on each side of him. That is true. He was yes. <laughs> it's like wow, he's a pimp. He's awesome. Wow. Um. But yeah, uh, just Star Trek celebs and just mm-hmm. other people, uh, YouTube people we know and have I've not got some met. Those later on, yeah. Yeah, that uh, wandered around, got to meet. It was just awesome. It was a good feeling, um, interesting environment. We didn't get over to the one side, though, where we first came in. Uh, there was the room on the left, the big long room yeah. with all the lounge chairs and stuff. We never actually wandered through there, unfortunately, but that's okay. This is true. Oh, yeah, us idiots. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty busy and pretty good. And there was meant to be a party, and then we didn't know. Hey, we didn't, well, there's no signs. I mean, a party room. It's like, yeah, wow, thanks for letting everyone know. Uh, mm. Although we got instantly, as soon as we literally, as soon as we learned it was a thing, we were told not to go there. It was like fifteen pounds a game, which is a lot and not worth anything. So glad we avoided something we only just found about. About, I guess. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I was at the other Hilton. Too many Trek people at that one. The other Hilton? Really? <coughs> well, this is that the Hilton literally next to uh, the hotel. Why people go to the other Hilton? I didn't know there was another Hilton. Well, there's one in, in the centre of town. Oh. Which is where Tim was uh, staying. But it's like, why would you go to that Hilton when there's one literally at the convention centre? Because there'd be people from the convention at each one, so I guess they'd just kind of meet up 
on their own? I don't know. It's an interesting question. But Shazad was staying at the one we were at because as we were leaving, uh, he was just getting out of a taxi again with two women. Oh, Man. Didn't see him. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, you weren't with me. You got you and your dad had just uh, started walking off towards oh. the car. And I was hanging out with Matt getting a taxi. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. That's nice. Good for Shazad. He's obviously from England, so, you know, yeah. It's not, nothing remarkable about him being in the country yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't didn't say hi to him or bug him or anything. He just kind of scooted in. So mm-hmm. then uh, <sighs> we have a picture, which is uh, you can see there's a, a a chap that's that's funny. Who's uh sneaking the picture? Can you see who's sneaking in that we know? That's funny. Uh, hold on, I gotta make this bigger for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Data's head guy. Yes. <laughs> I can't remember. I can never remember his name. <coughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah, Dad War. Even though he, he was getting pretty coldy and ill at that point, which was sad. Uh, but yeah, we had a nice picture of all three of us. Hmm. Your dad was a trooper, even though he was sick. So, congrats to him. Yeah, he t- TOS did up. I was going to keep on my Wrath of Khan, but. It was both cold and too hot. In a sense, it was too hot inside, too cold outside to get rechanged. Mm-hmm. And I had no idea how tired I'd be because last time we went there, I was tired from the outset. Like, you know, I find that if you drink, if you start drinking when you're tired, and you're not really vibing it. It just makes you tired. Whereas if you know, right, I'm gonna go out and then drink, mm-hmm. and then party, then it's like it's fine. Mm-hmm. And it's Adam Boots, is data set guy, not Peter. Mm-hmm. Cullen, I was wrong. Hey, here we go. So there you go, you got, you got your name dropped, Hey, Adam. Face dropped. Well, two faces. You, you accidentally was in a picture. That's funny. Celebrity guest star. Now, please do talk to me about this jerk, because this, this, uh, this was a thing for me, too. In fact, I'll get up a nice, a nice render just to oh, compare. Shuttlecraft? Yeah, uh, it must be a custom one-off shuttle because there's no <laughs> shuttle design like that. But I mean, it was cool, I guess. Uh, there's your dad on the back of it, uh, and there's funny. There's a Frangi also taking pictures there. So your dad and the Frangi started. The Frangi was trying to steal stuff, and your dad had the phaser out. And they're getting photo shoots oh. together. It's kind of funny. But yeah, the, the shuttles. Uh, it's uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, obviously, building an entire shuttle is quite would be quite expensive. Mm-hmm. But it's like then just build the cockpit or just build like a half of it. Don't mm-hmm. build a very poorly compressed version because it's like it's a fed op, but it's a bad fed op, you know. Yeah, I mean, with a wall island, like a fish island or something, and you know, you could distort it to make it look bigger, <laughs> fatter. Like I've got the um, I got the three D model from Voyage up. Ooh. Which I will now do a side by side of because I'm fancy like that, Stuart. I'm fancy. Use, use fancy. It's because you're British. British mm-hmm. fancy. So here is here is a canonical side by side. Although this in itself is a lower res model than it could be. Uh, oh, let me just move the model up. Oh, so many buttons and so many things. There you go. So as you can see, it's uh, not not quite right. I mean, you know. <laughs> no, not quite at all, right? Actually, Could but at least they tried. Well, it's clearly that's what we're going for. Um, but it's like everything about it is wrong. <laughs> like they couldn't even like they really couldn't get it any more wrong, you know. And it's like it's taller than it needs to be. They could have made it. <laughs> it is weird, yes. Um, Maybe the lower yeah. deck shuttle pod. <laughs> like well, you, know the, knockoff. <laughs> you know the little Type 15 shuttle pod? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, 
uh, London Batman, myself, and a guy named Aaron, uh, they they both want to get a go- golf cart and build a shuttlecraft, a shuttle Type 15 shuttlecraft around it for conventions and stuff. And I'm like, well, that might be doable size wise. I mean, it's going to take quite a bit of work, but that's something we might be doing as a project next year. So we'll see how that goes. Because, you know, those Type 15s are pretty small. Absolutely. <clears throat> it's a placeholder shuttle pod. <laughs> so, the park, yeah, the, the, they were waiting for the real one to arrive. Yep, I got, yeah. Thursday. Oh, just, just a little fun oh, note. Tuesday. Tuesday. Just yeah. uh, this is just to show you how lighting is so important. Here is me poorly lighting the shuttle, right? Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for it to catch up. So it shows that, you know, even a good a good model will light it poorly. That looks bad. And then as soon as you do... Uh, oh, ah, love. As soon as you do that, looks a lot better, you know? Instantly. So it's always in the lighting, not just the model. The model could be the best thing ever, but if the lighting's not good, mm. then it will not be good. Just a little uh, lesson there. And now I know. And knowing is one third of the conflict. Ooh. Beast Wars. I, I like your spin on things. That's very nice. <laughs> Although, ah, did you, this is one thing I don't think you know, I didn't think you heard, heard yet. They announced at the next event, which is the London one, because of the anniversary, they are going to build a full sized Voyager bridge. Yeah, I heard that. Ah. Sorry, I did hear that. Thoughts? <sighs> Well, I'm excited. I would love to see that, but I don't want to go to London, <laughs> and it's November fifteenth or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. So they're not having it in Birmingham anymore. Well, they did, the first one's in London. Then it was London, Birmingham, Germany, Birmingham, Germany, Birmingham, Birmingham. Now London. So uh, okay, it's been okay. Um, Birmingham, okay. I guess, was just a little bit cheaper, but obviously yeah. it's further away from most people, and yeah. since that obviously it's it, it, you know top of the country, but London is more easy commute like commuting routes. Um, it's quicker to get into yeah. London from a lot more places, not so driving, but public transport. Although it's more expensive, but then um, it's also more central. Well, before the announcement was made, a few people. Um, actually said that if it was going to London next year that they wouldn't be going because it's just too inconvenient for them, it's too far out or whatever. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And these are people that we know, YouTuber-wise, so well, yeah, I don't know if I want to say any names because... Oh, well, I know. mean, which is funny because you think London would be a good reason to go because there's more things to do in London. Um, yeah, but it's also way more expensive. Sure. Well, it depends where and what you go. I mean, Birmingham's still a hub, but yeah, there's less like... There's no like out-of-city hotels you can go to in London, whereas Birmingham there are. Uh, yeah, but you know, obviously, I was reading through the comments when they announced that, and it's like a split, isn't it? Half people say, "Oh my God, what's wrong with you? Now it's hard to get to," and half people say, "Oh my God, thank you, but waiting for to go yeah. to London is easy it's... to get to." I mean, you can't exactly. win because it's like, yeah, you're the bitch or you love it. There's not really anything to do. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, the other bridges are damn cheap. But I keep saying they should make more bridges, and Voyager one's a complicated one. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I'm guessing they won't make the front console because it's just like two chairs, a railing, a back console. Like they can get away with, MSD, yeah. Yeah, they get away with less, but I'm thinking if they're gonna get a lot of the cast there, you need a lot of space for the whole cast. Like if they built like all of the back bit, mm-hmm. not the front bit, then you can have like a lot of people standing there, and therefore, if you get like seven t- Voyager cast members selling them, because they did that with the TNG cast, they built the entire bridge, you know, all of the back, and they had like nine people in one photo shoot, and it's like it's a 300, 400 pound photo shoot, so you know, at some point that pays for the entire bridge. You know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but anyway, always had to see. That. <clears throat> Next, we met a friend of ours, and guys, we don't have friends. Don't lie to people. And guys, please do uh, super chat. We rely on these to support the channel, and there's 105 people watching, and uh, it would be very nice. If you can, that's awesome. Please do so. <sighs> oh yes, that is our good friend Barry Chapman. One of our 3D modelers. He actually did, did the 3D model work for the USS Foley, 
the one that uh, we have so far. Um, and uh, yeah, it was great to finally meet him in person. I've been talking with him for a while now, a few years anyway, um, online. So it was great to meet him finally. It was great to meet, great to meet a lot of you guys in person. Um, I'm glad I made the trip over there because, um, but yeah, that's Barry. Yeah. Had uh, supper with Barry on, or dinner, or whatever the hell you want to call it, dinner. on Saturday night, uh, which was nice. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's nice. He literally just came down to see you. No, where does he live again? I don't know. North of me. Oh. I, I, but I thought you knew. That's why I asked. I, I don't know geography. I mean, it's not my job to know where he lives. Okay. Well, why, why would I keep that information in my brain? It's like it's not really relevant. I don't know. My buddy Matt lives in Norwich. I keep that in my brain. You live in Bedford. I keep that in my brain. Yeah. We're A lot of people I know live in Toronto. We're, we're not the same person, though, are we? So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, but it's nice. It's sad. It's rather calm. One got... Rather than costume got spoiled, but he was still able to build it there. Be able to go there in costume, um, and then yet yeah, we managed to. It's fine. I managed to watch the full Irish Trekkie version of the Egomos panel. Well, they said a few things, and it was good to see Ben on the panel and Ryan. And uh, mm-hmm. but we were there right at the last minute where they announced the Egomos line, which we already knew. And it's fun how mm. Ben said, and I know we haven't really announced it yet, guys, but the Egomos is doing you know such a line. And Chris is like. I mean, Ben, we, we did announce it in Vegas. I announced it. He's like, ah. Yeah. He's like, we, we were there. They announced it with Thomas. We were there. It was really great. Da- yeah. Ben, take, don't take your eyes thunder just because you weren't there. <laughs> don't got the same vibe, but I, I kind of laughed yeah. on the inside about that. Yeah. And ship number two is going to be the USS Chimera, which is the uh, Manticore class, uh, which is actually Nog's ship So, uh, in the game. So, yeah, that was a nice little touch that they did. So, I like that. And plus, I I love that ship. I I've always wanted a model of it. So mm. perfect, perfect. Yeah, it, it's two very like normal ships, if that makes sense. But then yeah. what I'm going to do is is you know nice details, fun paintwork of very classical shapes. You know, like some of the, you know, I mean, Stowe is is a, is a kind of like a pick and mix sort of build it how you want with some sort of cool designs. Neither are like I would go my way to buy buy, but I'd have definitely have both in my collection, sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be getting both of those. They're nice designs for sure. And based on those sales, we'll determine whether they're going to do more. So everybody buy them. Well, we know they have 11 planned. Yeah. Um, and then we'll see if... Uh, I'm sure they'll do more. I'm sure they'll do more. Yeah, I think they will. Uh, thank you, Donnie. Donnie says, hello, Stuart, and welcome back to the True North. Oh, to yeah. your True North, strong and free. Yeah. yeah. And it was nice to see Mike again, because Mike's always so, like, enthusiastic about ships and about tech. Mr. Mike from Star Trek Online. Uh, mm. And we've got an invitation to be on his show, the Star Trek Online official podcast. It was quite late in the evening for me, but, I mean, worth it to be with those guys. And I suggested a possible game we could play. Um, and, you know, so you, might, you guys might see us on the official uh, Star Trek Online stream before the end of the year. Be fun. Yes, sir. Yes, Good sir. Good guys over there. Yeah. And I was able to... We were able to see, Rick pal- we were able to see Rick's panel, or you were not too long on that but uh yeah i didn't well yeah we didn't know where it was at first i finally found it but yeah. um i mean it's nothing we haven't heard before really yes um it was talking about deep space nine and all the and it's like we've already had this discussion rick probably a few times on skype <laughs> we've yeah. asked him some of these questions so it was like a tidbit of everything you know? yeah a brief history <laughs> of my genius uh <laughs> I mean, it's really just nice to see good, uh, nice to reckon personal to see him every single year. So it's not quite as special, um, but for me, it's like, hey, it's like a step back, yay, yeah, yeah. you know. Yep, 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 yep. They got some really nice uh, close-ups of that. So that'd be fun to fun to see turned to video. Mm-hmm. Um, what's next? I just, I just see Rick right now. Dad and his never-ending slew of costumes. Oh, he yes. can't help himself. Well, he's not the only one now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to finish one and then bring on and do a, a theme stream with it, maybe. Yeah. I do love that Eagle Moss backdrop, though. That's very cool. What, were you joking about it? 
that it's the better version of Samuel's. <laughs> Even though yours is better because you got different views of the ship. She got side views, top views, you know, no no front views or anything, but they just have the top views and <laughs> but it was, it was a really good backdrop. So I have some great other ones like the Armada construction yard, construction ship. I did, I did have premonition, but that went bye bye. What happened? But you put on your background yet? Have they, have they migrated yet? They have not, because I haven't filmed that section of my captain's log yet. Well, okay then. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a funny banner this because they're gonna keep changing it. And updating it, and it's like that. That banner is only useful for this one event. <laughs> yeah, so where's it gonna go? Because I want it. Wouldn't you imagine having that in your house? Ah, oh, it's a bit, bit bright for me. Uh, I would take it. Oh, well, maybe you can email Chris. Who would I have to talk to? Like Ben well, or be Chris? What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. I'm just swinging this bag of dice around. Okay. And we got to spend a little bit of time with Mr. George Takei. Uh, we got quite a few prints oh, signed by him, and obviously, the more you get, the more it takes them to do, which is good. Um, so, I was, uh, yeah, it was, it was nice to be, you know, I met him two years ago, or last year, no, uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. for a shoot, but it's, you know, seconds. So, it's nice yeah. to get to actually speak to him and be in his, you know, feel his vibe, as it were, because, you know, to me, this bill is quite expensive. And you you know budget quite a bit, and you managed to yeah. You know, and his you know husband was there, and and God, the amount of hours he was working because you know Nichelle Nichols did a similar thing, but it took that many hours because she's ill and slow, and and Shatner was doing the same thing, but he also did more sub things. He was doing like a lot of other things, uh, whereas Takei just kept being at the booth, kept signing like what an absolute trooper, um, mm. just wearing his like super chill hoodie, like I'm I'm not trying, I'm just here, or whatever. That was nice. Yeah, it was great uh, <coughs> chatting with him. So, actually, we got to chat with a lot of the actors there when their lines were kind of slack, which was great. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Had a funny moment with Brent, mm. which I don't know if we should talk about specifically, but uh, I have a video of it. Yeah, we'll save it for maybe the cams log. But here's just about YouTubers. Here is a uh, an image. So you're welcome to. To talk about meeting some of the different people. Ah yes, Irish Trekkie and the Trek Collector. Uh, these guys have been on, been on our show a few times. We've been on their show a few times, uh, and both very friendly guys. I've wanted to meet them at, for quite a while, um, and they don't disappoint. They're exactly what I thought they would be <laughs> uh, when I met them. So that that's great. Um, Chris and I uh, had a well, we were at the bar together, and he's Irish, so when he gets drinking and he's telling a story, there's a lot of extra words in there that aren't necessary, and you got to kind of sift through them to get the story, but it's it's hilarious, and I love it. Um, and I, I had no problem understanding him, which is odd, because I usually have a trouble with accents, but um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Uh, and Damien was really nice, uh, very friendly. He gave us some, uh, some of his artwork mm -hmm. and stuff, so... Um, yeah, yeah, I've met it was Chris. a real honor to meet those guys. I think, I, I think I've met Chris both other events. Um, it's one of those things that we, we obviously follow each other's work, so there's no like level of really even good to meet you. It's just like, hey man, hey. Yeah. Because obviously, yeah, we know what each other are doing roughly, and it's kind of like, yep. Yeah. Good to see you yeah. in real life, but we've known you for, you know. Uh, but it's good to I me, mean, as, as I said with Vegas, I was, I'm building up, well, I'm doing the Pokemon, gotta catch them all set of. YouTubers and fan fun people and you know Ice Trek was another one to get in my gotta collect them all vibe and I've almost collected them all now. Uh, nice. well, did I get a bit of Leo Tooney names? Oh, I hope I did. Um, With who? Leo Tooney. I, mean, I got a joint picture. He's the guy to Deceptor. I met him and I'm gonna try and get him oh. for the convergence shoot, which would be good. Um, but yeah, that was good. And then uh, yeah, my picture of Vic Sternback, which I didn't get a picture of Vic Sternback until right at the end. I, even though I spoke to him like a billion times, I forgot until right at the last minute. Literally, the last last picture is Vic Sternback. I was like, ah. Yeah, I didn't get a picture with Rick. I thought about it and then just it never materialized. <laughs> I just completely forgot about it, and then he was busy or whatever. And uh, so we should have got one together with both of us, but you know, whatever. I understand. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I agree. 
So yeah. And I got a quick little another video. Um, but this is an example of the because you saw what the phone looked like, and if I can remind you all, sort of the phone quality that we can get. Uh, this is obviously Stuart's phone again, but indication versus what's going to be my DSLR version. Because I'm, I'm making a, I, I did, you know, I did, it was a test of a, a new thing for a new project we're doing. And this is the unedited, like unrefined version. This is the, well, ironically raw, raw. But this is this uh, thing I was doing as well to make a separate sort of travel video. This is uh, sort of, oh. This is sort of hopefully looking more fancy. Why is it doing a slowdown? As I say that, the entire thing is slowing down. Boo! <laughs> Can't win. Good job. Good job. No. Well, that's what it looks like. With all the fancy depth of field. That would play. My prayer wasn't working. That was anticlimactic, wasn't it? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> oh, well, I tried. It was fun to film Stuart filming himself. That was quite silly. I can't wait to see all the footage you got of... Uh, of me doing, like, the adventure thing, you know? <laughs> The but anyway, the adventure thing. Well, you were filming the London thing, cause. Oh yeah, yeah. With your other fancy camera that I didn't get any video from, cause I wouldn't be able to play it anyway. That one. Um, well, yeah. I want to see that footage. That's all I'm saying. Me too. Super Coops puts in. Funds. Glad I met you guys on Saturday. Shame I couldn't make it for drinks at the Hilton though. Maybe next time. Glad you enjoyed the UK cat. Yes, thank you very much, Super Coops. It was actually nice. Like, what's your name? <laughs> and he's. Like, I forget your name now, god damn it. But anyway, uh, he's like, I'm Super Coops on YouTube. And we're like, oh, my yes. God, yes. You've, you've been here forever. <laughs> um, but it was nice to meet you, for sure. Yeah, names, uh, digital names help. It's like, yeah. who are you? Because no offense, we're not going to know your face. That's nothing against yeah. you. It's just lots of people. So who are you? Oh, you're this that's, person. Hey! That's the weird thing. They come up to you. They're like, hi, guys. Hi, it's nice to meet you. And it's like... Yeah, you've seen our faces for how many years? You know exactly who we are. You, you're like you hang out with us. We have no idea who you are. <laughs> uh, it's just kind of a one-sided thing because they're like they know us so well, and it's like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of odd. Well, it's one of those things that literally just get to the point. If anybody says anything to you directly, it's like, oh, they're Trek Yards fan. Assume you know them. In the sense that they know you. Assume to be friendly because they probably are a Trek Yards fan. Just go with it. Uh -huh. I, I, I said joke several times. I was like, "Hello, random person." Yes. Because like, that's hello, random person. Nice to meet you too. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is Jeff talking about here? It's a fancy DSLR picture. <laughs> what camera, Sam? Five D Mark Three. <clears throat> Yeah, sorry, Jeff. The the hat still had a hook on it because I hadn't bought it yet. I was just trying it on. That's why there was a hook on the back of the hat. So, so pop pop your collar. I do sometimes, just by accident. But yeah, no. So I have one another tease. If we can get five dollars super chat, then I will share a, another teaser of an animation exclusive to our Patreon group. Ooh, coming yes. in a couple of days. You'll start rolling those out. I've been doing a couple. Uh, my brain's been a bit dead, obviously, after the con. So it's actually soothing for me just to animate spaceships. In simple, it, that seems weird to say, but it is. So if you want to see an uh, exclusive look at, at what animations you're going to be getting, uh, then please do donate five dollars in super chat. Uh, I've taken the still of it already. I can share it, and it's a, a sort of fun one I did to show stuff you haven't really seen before. Who will be the person to save the super chat? Dun dun dun. dun, dun. <laughs> no one. Daily Dog says, I told you who I was when I said I was the idiot that asked that you were going to sell badges. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. 
And we did get a couple hashtag code of honors. That was surreal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Stuart next to the canal. Yes. Mm -hmm. All history has existed for that one moment. And it has been fulfilled. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, five bucks I can show it, guys. You know you want to see it. You know you want to be teased. Jeff Jacobs puts in 202 and says 102 likes. Again at 150. Hashtag Birmingham like spike. Hashtag make Jeff pay. Dun, dun, dun. And then Jarzia throws in $5 Canadian. Yes. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite animation on Trek Yards. <laughs> Give us a Kalesh. Wow, for another f for another five, I'll do K less. I mean, come on, guys! I'm not a dancing monkey unless you pay the dancing monkey. All right, Furious Fawns, I uh, will just me yeah message me privately. We'll talk about that. Right, so that you raised it for the tease. Yes. And there you go. Just brighten it a little bit in post. There you go. It's <coughs> very nice. Is it gonna move? No, it's the still. Remember the animation is the Patreon people. Oh, we could play like a second or two of the animation as a, a super teaser. Well, it's now I'm gonna get five more bucks to the super tease. Oh my goodness. Well, see what it is. This is the Cage Era Enterprise, and I try to make it look very vintage, sort of grain things. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mark Lawrence. Hello, I just got a notification that I just surpassed 50 gigabytes of data this month with my phone. I love unlimited data. 10 gigabytes is just track yards. Yeah. I... Mark, get to do live streams. It's awesome. <clears throat> Everyone's crazy. Uh, yeah, because I was yes. thinking, like, what can I do that people haven't really seen before? And how many, animation how many animations have we seen the... Cage Enterprise. Not so many. Yeah, so I thought, what would a, what a sexy one of that look like? Um, and sure, if you want to see, uh, if you want to see it, five bucks, and I will. Roof, roof. It'll move yes, a little bit. Fur yes, furious fawns. Yes, message me tomorrow on Facebook, and we'll chat. I'm still thinking they're on their way, but that's another discussion. <coughs> And my name for this one is Enterprise Cage Flyby. I think that's a good, a good strong summary of the uh, what it is. But I've been doing quite a lot of these to try and build something up. Um, I even did a Dominion War themed one. And when I say war, I mean war. And it took three times the time. But, you know, it's a bit fancy, you see. Gotcha. There's always plenty of data on Trek Yards. Bill Barkley says with a smirky face. Gotcha. Yeah. Especially when it's a data heavy episode. Mm. Like elementary mentor data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess somebody wants to see some animation. That's okay. Um, I'm looking forward to it from that still. I haven't even seen it yet, guys, so... Yeah. You know. Pretty much. No, I'm yeah, trying to do fun things. The idea is that you guys all go on Patreon, and there'll be different tiers, and then you can see these exclusive animations with things that you can't see anywhere else, as we often do, but now in a even sexier form, as you guys might know, Trikers is in a nice little box, and there's a box in that box of the anim of the work. And I, I, you know, do it smaller, try and keep it manageable, the amount of stuff here per episode. These are full 1080p and you get some crispness at 1080p, which you can't get anywhere else. And Kieran Allen says those dear data mugs and shirts sold out fast. Well, don't worry, I got myself a shirt, which I wore home on the plane, oh. which I almost left at Samuel's. Went back to the hotel, got had a shower, got ready for bed, then thought, shit, I should wear that shirt tomorrow. Just going to double check <laughs> to make sure it's in my luggage. Oh. Couldn't find it. It's in Samuel's living room or sitting room. So I'll message him at 1230. <laughs> Are you still awake? I left my shit there. And there was other stuff in that bag, too. That's what happens when I'm not organized. Yes, I was 
getting quite, I think I was almost passing out, and I sound like this thing saying, hey buddy, can I come back? I'm like, uh, I mean, you have to, I guess. <laughs> yes. Oh, I just remember something funny. Um, you know the Trek author James Swallow? Who wrote no. a ton of books. He's actually at the event. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, he's an English guy. Uh, I remember quite a few times. And he put a um, an image saying, oh, he's on his way back, back home uh, on a plane. And guess what image he found and posted mm. let me uh let me get it see if you recognize it i'll read the super chats while you're doing that jarazia says put some five dollars all right here's your five dollars by the way <laughs> i would love to see some assimilated tos or tmp ships they're a rare breed assimilated how would one do that i'll put borg tech on them that, that's a whole different thing that's not animation that's model building but, gotcha uh, Hey, you can always commission that as a separate thing. I'm sure Barry would be happy to customize. Yeah, if it doesn't exist, it's not something we can really do bonus because it's like a whole extra step of steps. Yeah. And Leon McKinnis puts in 20 pounds. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Uh, keep the content coming, guys. Excellent. Well, thank, thank you, me. Leon. Made this whole stream worthwhile. <laughs> that is our intent to keep the content coming. Do you recognize this, Joe? I do recognize that very much so. What do you recognize it as? Oh, it's from Denver. Yeah. We're flying from Denver to Montreal. No, LA. Either LA to Denver yeah, or Denver to Montreal. Yeah. It was LA to Denver. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we were gonna, let's get a picture out the window, and then you can put a ship in there. Yeah, I remember I that. I did it in the hotel and posted it. And uh, yeah, this this famous started writer said, "Fly up destination," and hey, wait a second. And I was like, "So you used your picture?" Yeah, I was like, "James." That's my render I made some years ago for a Trekkers trip. Where'd you find it? Ha! Not sure. I think I saw it on a blog ages ago. So, <laughs> so it's really funny. That's why I, I don't do too much art, because it can easily get whatever. But it was really weird to see in my feed, like, oh. That's cool, though. I made that. Huh. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we have an animation, uh, a bit of a bit of an animation, because it is an exclusive one to Patreon, obviously. The uh, 1080p ness won't exactly come through on, you know, this sort of stream. So it will look sexier in, in a person. So I'll play half of it. That was Jazzy, wasn't it? Who came through? Yes. And they did find this one is it's it's extra grainy because TF is extra grainy. Not not to make it 4.3 because 4.3 looks like 4.3. Um, oh, don't do the extra grainy. Let's just keep it crisp and clear. No, no, no. It's cage, oh. man. It's right back in the past. Are you ready? But I want to see the cage ship looking crisp and clean. I don't want to see it grainy. Otherwise, da, I'd watch da, it on my TV. Da, 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 da. I'll play the half again. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Mm. Oh, there you okay. Go. That's great. So do two versions of it. Grainy and not grainy. Because I don't want to see grainy on it. <coughs> The grain just ruins it unless it's matched up with other footage that's grainy. There's no sense doing the animations grainy. That's just dumb. It's incredibly intentional. And incredibly infuriating for people who just want crisp, clean images of the ships. The ship is never clean. Oh my god. I'm done. <laughs> Thanks, the Darth Eddie. Um, oh yeah, it was just fun just to animate with. Actually, I lit it, as you can see, I lit it extra bright. Because, I mean, it, it looks more flat, but the miniature was flat. So I kind of, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't... Just it. All right, I'll be quiet. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't trying to be, like, um, sexy modern. It was trying to be, like, a sort of classical yet modern, you know? No, no, no. Just too modern. That's what people want to see. They don't want to see the grainy shit. Maybe the non-grainy will be the one tier above. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, bit of cage. Bit of cage love. Didn't it look cool though? Yes. A thrilledness. Uh, right. So, so, yes, Joe, any final thoughts on the new Picard uniform? Uh, no. <laughs> Pretty much said everything we had to say about it. 
considering we did a whole live on it and the beginning of this one. So, no, I have nothing else to say. Can't wait to see it on screen. That's it. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good. All right, well, thanks everyone for popping in for this casual stream as we're oh, just. Jar- that's written two dollars Canadian. It says, "But can you recreate the janky as fuck bridge zoom in?" Yes, but there wouldn't be a bridge to go into. No, I guess no, I just would do, just do the stupid kind of <clears throat> up above the saucer. Okay. Because you don't want it to look smooth and modern or anything. You want to look like crap like they did back in the 60s. Because that's why I wanted it remastered. So I could see the same shit. <laughs> I mean, I've said to you before. Like One of the Dumbass. Patreon things I might do is... is like Maybe like a goal for that month. Like If we can get to 1,050, I'll make like three shots from Bats of Terror. <clears> how <throat> I would do them. Mm-hmm. Like Not just bit boring, not that great... Um, you know what I mean? I actually have a really kind of dynamic, interesting version. Hmm. Because I think hmm. I can do them better. Like, not necessarily the di- really intricate stuff, because that's like, I can only do certain things. You know, you know, that's why I have a production team to do like particle effects and explosions. That's like that's why you get a team. Uh huh. But if you want raw like animation work, I'm definitely good at that. So. Yes. All right, guys. Well. You're good at it. Get at it and then you put grain over it and make it look like some dipshit in their basement did it. Good job. Just well, make it look good. Just make it look good. Well, I mean, I put, I've always put grain on all of my footage anyway. I put about 3 to 5% grain because in three reality. Five, it's fine. Yeah, that's why it's on everything. Because in reality, it, it, that's one of the secrets about uh, visual effects is that the less perfect you make it, the more real it looks and feels because we associate film with a certain look and digital with a different look. If it's just clean, it's not real. If it's a little bit broken, a little bit wrong, you notice those little things. Um, I, I want to see it how my eyes would see it if it was real in front of me. That's how I want to see ah, it. Ah, you say that, but no one liked watching The Hobbit in one one twenty five per did. second. Well, then you are in the incredibly small percentage, and therefore value cannot be judged correctly, I guess. Oh, great. Well, you know what I mean. It's, it's like, that, that's it, I think. You saw Avatar in the cinema, didn't you? You saw Avatar in the cinema, What's didn't that? you? You saw Avatar in the cinema, didn't you? Yes. But the 3D of that, I thought, was just looking through a mirror. Like, not mirror, like a, a window. That, I thought, was like, oh, That's just reality at that point. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> All right, guys, we'll have a great week. We'll do another live at some point. Um. Yeah, and I'll do a thing on Saturday and be hungover Sunday. Haven't been, haven't been hungover for a while, so that'll be fun. Yay. Yeah, and don't worry, guys. I'm going to probably do a live myself at some point. Not, I don't know if it's this week or next week or whatever, but looking at all my photos from the trip as well. Mm. Um, whether Samuel was with me or not during that, we'll see. But it uh, might be fun. It might be one of the late night Captain Foley ones. Who knows? Um, but yeah, lots to look at. Yeah, we're gonna have to go do some other lines. But yeah, oh, that's okay, Casey Costello. It's always they're always here to watch after the fact, so that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks everyone. We did get over 100, 100 likes. That's all good. And we'll start mm-hmm. out with us. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Bye everyone. Bye guys. Love you. <laughs>